this time I felt him. It was as if my Johannes was standing next to me, placing his hand on my shoulder. Herr Dupre was right. With each session we are drawing closer, I can feel it. There has been a spate of strange coincidences. It is a sign. I have been working on the dummy again. I am trying to fill it with life so that Johannes will accept it and finally return to me. This is my ball, and don't you forget it! I just wanted to play with it. Get your own! But mine isn't red. You stubborn little so-and-so. All right then, but make sure you bring it back. Promise? I promise. Personal 
small object and place it in the center of the witch's foot. I repeat, take the ball and place it carefully in the center of the sign. We call tonight upon the Angoloi. Now that the occultist Dupre, whose voice speaks to you now and who has studied the chronicles of Akasha, is aware of your presence. Yes, I hear you. Oh, Angoloi and spirits of the will, servants of the Lord. Now you're wet too! Stop splashing! Mama, he got water on me and now I'm all wet! Come and sit on the bank with me. There you go. Now, put your feet in the water. Nice and warm, isn't it? Warm and wet. <laughs> 
Look at the sailboats. They're so fast. I bet they're going to America. From Vanze? The lakes aren't that big. Well, who knows? Maybe they'll find a way. They could sail down the harbor, then the Elba, and all the way to Hamburg. The gateway to the world. From there, anything's possible. <laughs>